Good day mga kababayan. This is Damaso, aka Carlos Adan, coming in live, well not so live, on the internet from SB Park in front of Congress. And tonight we're going to talk about the issues and talk to the personalities surrounding the Occupy RH movement, what they've been doing and what you can do to help in the next few weeks. But first I'd like to ask our guests to uh, introduce themselves. Hi, hi everyone. I'm Janice Melgar. I'm one of the conveners of Occupy for RH. Hi, I'm Leller Claudio. I help run the communications team of Occupy for RH and I teach in the political science department of the Ateneo de Manila. Uh, I'm Urafi Aquino from Task Force Pride Philippines and from Ledlet Park, Elisa Suena. Well. Uh, and we'd like to ask, and I'd like to start with you, Janice. How long has the RH bill been around? Because many people think bago lang yung RH bill. Ano talaga ang true story sa likod ng RH bill? Man. Actually, the, the RH bill is 10 years old. Uh, the RH, RH, RH a rights-based, integrated, family planning maternal, actually was started in 2001. So it's been very, very long. Mm. So it has passed through three Congresses, delayed in three Congresses, and we hope that it will pass in this Congress, 15th Congress. Wow. Anong population ng 2001 ng Philippines at ngayon? Ang ngayon? Ah, ilang million? 101 million na tayo. Baka difference of 25 million. I think in 2001, 90 million lang tayo. No? Wow. So we increased by around 10 million people. Yung population ng New Zealand has just been added to the Philippine population since the filing of this bill. And if we're counting 11 deaths a day of mother, it's, it's quite insurmountable. But do I also like to get your point of view, the point of the youth? Well, I think dapat may emphasize talaga na yung RH bill ay isang bill para sa mga nanay kasi sila nga yung namamatay. So it's a women's rights bill. Kaya nga lila yung dala namin kulay dahil gusto namin siguraduhin na ang mga nanay ay magkaroon ng karapatan at ng pamamaraan upang bigyan ng espasyo yung kanilang panganganak at kung ayaw nila manganak na hindi sila manganak through modern contraceptives and family planning methods. Okay, so for the LGBT point of view, so um, Siyempre, sabihin na lang natin na hindi naman kami masyadong... Um, the, the concern about the RH bill, it's not just about the reproductive, uh, it's not just about the population for our group because our main concern is about health. Everybody's health, everybody's access to reproductive services. For example, um, one of the best things na pwede natin sabihin ngayon is yung increasing number ng HIV cases dito sa Philippines. Diba? Kung magpapasa natin yung RH bill, magkasaroon tayo ng equal access, for example, sa, sa condoms. So we can have free access to, to condoms. So we can avoid, diba? So tignan na natin, bakit sa Pilipinas continuous pa rin yung pagdami ng cases ng cases ng HIV. Samantalang sa ibang bansa, napapatigil, unti-unti, bumababa. Diba? Anong meron sa Pilipinas? Anong meron sa ibang bansa? And at the same time, syempre, concerned din tayo sa health ng mga kababayan natin, mga lesbiana. Kasi di ba sa Reproductive Health Bill, we can have equal access to reproductive health services. So makakatulong dito sa mga kapwa natin, ng mga kaibigan natin lesbiana. Ayun. So um, sa point of view ng LGBT communities, yun po yung, yung aking masasabi. And a shout out to all the lesbians out there. But uh, let's start from scratch. Uh, Juris, uh, pakilinawin sa atin, ano talaga ang nasalaman ng RH Bill? Kasi maraming mga myths, maraming mga, uh, ano tayo, mga lies, mga sinungaling na, na lumalabas at kinakalat ng iba. So, sa totoo lang, what is the truth behind the RH Bill and what's inside it? Actually, Carlos, the RH Bill has undergone uh, transformation since uh, 2001. The first one was actually just a package of different reproductive health services, like treatment for prevention of STIs, including HIV, meron din maternal care, family planning. Now, it's actually very focused on on three life-saving measures. So, ano yung una na yan ay uh, maternal care because women die of uh, pregnancy and childbirth in the Philippines. Believe it or not. Aya. Number two is making sure that every birth is planned and assisted by a skilled professional. So, so, sana wala na yung mga hilot for, for the poor because they die from lack of uh, enough services. 
And the third one, which is most controversial, is contraceptive care. Yun yung napakabigat na services that women need. The fourth one, very closely allied to the three, is sexuality education. So when you look at ano bang meron dyan, is all these three, and education, very important education, but it also is very focused on helping the poorest women, the poorest family. So yun po yung, ano ba yun, uncontroversial, very bland na content ng RH Bill, except that some quarters are making this so controversial. But how does this make it beneficial to the poor mothers of the Philippines? How does this equalize the field, as you say? Well, because the ones who are dying from pregnancy-related, pregnancy-related deaths are among the most preventable deaths. So it is a crime, actually, for any country to allow these deaths. And the ones who are dying are the poorest. So talagang, if you want justice, no, for women, for their families, ito yun. If you want justice for LGBTs and young people who are not able to avail of even the simplest sexuality education and prevent, prevention also of uh, life-saving condoms lang eh, no? Nila lang natin yan. Pero actually, dito sa Pilipinas, yan ay pini-prevent. Ibig sabihin, merong mga tao sa Pilipinas na ayaw talaga ma-access yan ng maraming tao lalo na yung mga higit na nangangailangan dun sa services na yan. Yun ang problema natin. Okay, and we'd also like now to have our new guest who just arrived to please introduce herself and say hello, the lovely Dr. Claudio. <laughs> Thanks for the lovely. Uh, um, my long name is Sylvia Estrada Claudio. Ang short name ay Guy. Ano ba? Ang claim to fame ko ay ayon kay Tito Soto. Ako daw ay isang abortionista. <laughs> Balita ba yun? <laughs> so, uh, uh, ang unang individual na pinag... Marami naman sa ating pinapangalanan palagi sa Kongreso. Uh, ano man yan? Uh, House of Representatives. Of Pero dito yata sa round na to, ako ang unang individual na napangalanan sa Senado ni Tito Soto. Kaya, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> But also, okay, we'd like to, because we're going to be wrapping up soon, I'd just like to ask all of you, what is it that people can do and should do between now and the coming months to help occupy our age? Where can they go? How can they support? So, siguro, um, sa point of view ko, ano, um, maaari po natin sabihin na pwede natin pakita yung support natin. Una, sobrang, sobrang uso po ngayon ng social media. So, we can post our support sa RH Bill, pwede sa Facebook, you can send your messages to everyone na we support RH Bill. And para po sa mga tao na hindi talaga alam kung ano ibig sabihin ng RH Bill, everyone, let's help educate them para at least alam nila kung ano po talaga ibig sabihin ng RH Bill. And um, pwede po tayong tumulong, sa, kunwari dito sa mga ano, alamin po natin kung ano yung mga organisasyon na tumutulong para sa pagpapasa ng RH Bill. Kailangan po natin silang suportahan, kailangan natin silang tulungan. Kasi kapag hindi, natin, hindi tayo nagpakita ng moral support sa kanila, baka manghina sila, baka hindi na nilang tuloy yung laban. Pero they're doing this for us. Ginagawa nila to para sa lahat ng Pilipino. Hindi lang para sa lahat ng mga Pilipino, kundi para sa pinabukasan ng mga susunod nating hinarestor. Salamat po. Maghapon ako halos dito at maghapon ang kasiyahan. Ito na lang yung ating late night show na masaya pa rin, nakatayo pa rin yung mga tao dito, nagkakatuwaan. Pero uh, ilang araw na ito, paraging halos may happening. So it's not hard to support. No? Ang prinsipyo ng mga Occupy ay yung simpleng nakatayo kayo dyan, sumama kayo dito, yun na yun mismo. Ang, lang, ang kailangan lang. Wala na kailangan sabihin, wala. Tumama na kayo, mag-enjoy kayo. Uh, pwede na yon Pero meron pang ilang pwede yung idagdag, no? Kung kayo po ay uh, may ari ng panadirya at pro RH kayo, masarap po ang hot pantisal, di ba? Yung uh, may nag-donate ng pansit. Um, may, marami, meron po donations, pero 
palagi kaming nakat nangangailangan ng information. Marami na nagsusuport ha, kasi sa social media, uh, slam dunk tayo eh, no? Talagang ang daming naglalike, paulit-ulit, panalo-panalo tayo. Pero sabi ko nga kanina, ang RH tungkol yan sa katawan. Hindi lang yan tungkol sa I am with you in, in spirit, yung pag-press ng like. Kailangan yung mga katawan nyo, dali nyo dito para kami uh, makita din namin kayo. Kaya whether organized, not organized, lahat yata ng Pilipino mag-organize eh, di ba? Naalala ko nung uh, EDSA 1, may nanawagan sa Pusoy Club of Makati na magpunta sa EDSA. Kaya kung yung mga Pusoy Club of Makati ay buhay pa para noon, uh, sure tayo, uh, pro RH yun kasi 70% ng tao pro RH. Kaya likely yung Pusoy Club of Makati ay pro RH, buhay pa sila ngayon after so many years of EDSA. Punta na naman kayo dito. Masaya na naman dito. Ako naman, uh, I think we need to occupy and preoccupy our political officials. No? For, for the longest time, in the case of women, talaga nakikita natin, hindi pinapakinggan, hindi tila, talaga nag, uh, nagre-reflect yung ating policies doon sa pangangailangan ng malami sa atin. So, tingin ko, uh, occupy means coming to this space, helping out in Pwede bang pandesal dyan, abanig pa dyan, to support people. But we actually need people to harangue Congress. Talagang sulatan nyo yung mga legislator dyan. Kulitin nyo talaga, kasi napakahalaga po nito, let, let us unmask those who delay the RH bill. Kailangan natin na-expose sa mga tao yan, natatandaan ngayon sa botohan at in following botohans, Napaka-importante pong hinaharness natin yung power din natin, tayo mga botante, para talagang i-vote out itong napaka... Ito ba yung mga... Delayers na yan, Apa? the team delay. Pablo Garcia, Raul Daza, Amado Bagatsing, Sergio Apostol, apart from Enrile and uh, Soto, no, in the in Senate. Kailangan talaga natin i-booking yung mga yan, no? na napaka-ipokrito ng mga taong yan, at kailangan na talagang kung pwedeng ibasura na yan, napakatagal na ng mga mukha na yan, ibasura na talaga yan. Please! Huwag <laughs> mo nang ibotong mga laos. Yun lang ito. Mga laos. Simple, simple lang yan. Okay. Um, <coughs> so, this will be going on until it can't go on any longer, until the bill is finally passed. So if you want to support Occupy RH, just log on to rhbill.org backslash Occupy, or log on to Twitter at RH now, and learn of the events. Because it's not just to squat para sa RH. This is actually a multifaceted, educational, entertainment experience for the betterment of the Philippines. Yeah. So, remember, wag mong iboto ang mga naos and join us here at Occupy RH. Alright?